abduction and adduction is movement in the frontal or coronal plane. Movement away from the midline, raising your arm like so is abduction. Bringing it back is adduction. Now I'm going to demonstrate abduction and adduction. Abduction and adduction is movement in the frontal or coronal plane. Remember, a frontal or coronal plane separates the body into an anterior and a posterior. So we're talking movement in this plane. Movement away from the midline. Remember, your midline is that imaginary line that runs right down the middle, separates your body into two equal halves. Movement away from the midline is abduction. A, B, D, U, C. T-I-O-N, abduction. So I'm going to abduct my arm at the shoulder. I am now going to, hopefully without falling over, abduct my thigh at the hip. The opposite of abduction is adduction, A-D-D-U-C-T-I-O-N. That is movement toward the midline. So I'm going to adduct my thigh at the hip. I'm going to adduct my arm at the shoulder. You can also abduct and adduct your wrist. This would be abduction, that would be adduction. If you have trouble remembering which is abduction and which is adduction, one trick that a student has taught me is think about adding to your body when you move your limb back toward the midline. Another thing you can think about is doing jumping jacks. Abduction, adduction, abduction, adduction. Circumduction is a mixture of flexion, extension, abduction, and adduction. It's moving your upper appendage such that it outlines a cone, like a sugar cone of ice cream. That is circumduction. Circumduction is movement of a limb so that it outlines a cone. Let me demonstrate. If I were to take my upper appendage and do that movement, notice that my arm, my upper appendage, would be outlining a cone. This is a combination of flexion, extension, abduction, and adduction circumduction. I can also do the same motion with, with a little more difficulty, with my lower appendage. With a lot more difficulty. Circumduction. 